in India, it's going to be a crucial day in the Mumbai courts as a court is expected to decide today whether alleged gangster Shorabuddin Sheikh and his aide Tulsi Ram Prajapati were killed in fake encounters more than almost 13 years ago. 22 people, mostly police officers from Gujarat and Rajasthan, are accused in these cases, which triggered a political storm and continue to make headlines even years later. The CBI, which probed the case, said that the murders were a result of conspiracy for political as well as financial gains. Now, of the 38 people who have been charged, 16 people, including BJP chief Amit Shah, former top cop T.G. Vanzara, and other police officers were discharged. 92 prosecution witnesses had turned hostile. Now, the judge today will also take a call on applications that have been filed by two different witnesses who actually seek re-examination. I have Sohit now joining us from Mumbai. A very good morning to you, Sohit. Uh, tell us a bit about what is expected in court today. It's also two different witnesses want re-examination. Well, uh, good morning to you too, Snigda. And as you said, uh, that's true. Uh, the court is expected. Uh, it is expected that the court will uh, give its verdict on the Sorabuddin alleged fake encounter case. 13 years, more, it's been more than 13 years after which the verdict is expected to be out today. And uh, the court will uh, start its hearing post-11 uh, in this issue. The special CBI judge who has been hearing, uh, let me tell you about the entire case. So after uh, the uh, alleged fake encounter which happened on 25th of November 2005, uh, Rubabuddin Sheikh, brother of Saurabuddin Sheikh, then, uh, in 2006, wrote a letter uh, to the uh, Chief Justice of India and told him that there is a requirement of probe in this entire matter. Several people were included, as you said, it, which includes D.G. Vanzara, Amit Shah, uh, among others, after which the entire probe began in 2010. The probe was then submitted to uh, the CBI after which the entire uh, hearing began in November 2017. And now, after 2000, uh, after hearing the witnesses, uh, two, around 210 witnesses, the court is expected uh, to uh, give its verdict today. Now, several things have changed if we uh, talk about the entire issue. Now, firstly, there are 38 uh, people who were accused in this entire alleged fake encounter, out of which uh, the, uh, 30, 16 of them, which includes top bosses, which are uh, like BG Banzara as well as uh, BG President Amit Shah have already been released. Uh, the 22 uh, who are currently facing these charges include uh, the police personnel from Gujarat, Rajasthan and Andhra Pradesh and also there is the owner uh, of a farmhouse who is included in these people among which uh, the verdict is expected to be out soon. Now, uh, we also were uh, present while this entire hearing was uh, going on throughout this entire proceedings. And what I can tell you in this is there were several allegations as well as several new things which came out. Like, for example, the chief investigating officer, uh, Amitabh Thakur, told the court that uh, BJP President Amit Shah and DJ Vanzara were politically and uh, were financially benefited by this entire uh, alleged fake account. However, he also said that he does not have any proof also, Rupabuddin Sheikh also said that uh, this has been a fake encounter. So, several things have been said in the court. And as you said, uh, based on these things, the court will give its verdict today. And we'll have to wait to see that what does the court say 13 years after the incident happened in Gujarat. And the uh, after uh, the special request, the CBI court in Mumbai is hearing the case. And after hearing 200, uh, 210 witnesses out of which 92 went hostile, the court is expected to give, uh, give its verdict.